Yeah, there we go. Although my um, my face cam's in a terrible place. <laughs> Hold on. Would that be better? I don't know. We'll see when we get into the game, really. Nice bed. It is a nice bed. The, the comforter is actually so old it's ripped. <laughs> looks like War Thunder. It kind of does. It looks a lot more like World of Tanks if you've ever seen that game. And if you haven't seen that game, I don't really blame you. It wasn't a great game, in my opinion. The, the, uh, the camouflage system was pretty terrible, if you ask me. I know lots of people like the game, though. This is actually made by the people who made World of Tanks, and that's why it's called World of Warplanes. So here we are. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, in that 15 minutes before starting the stream, I did just browse around to see what different things were here. So if you don't know World of Tanks, you probably don't know anything, anything at all related to this, so I'll just go kind of through it. So you have a tech tree for every faction. Here's the US, there's USSR, Germany, Japan. Uh, you unlock planes in a certain order. There's arrows between each one. Although you, I can barely see them on my screen. You probably can't even see them on the, on the stream. But they are there, so you have to unlock the planes in certain orders. There's ten tiers. And it takes a lot more to unlock a plane in this game. Or at least it took a lot more to unlock a tank in World of Tanks than it did to unlock any plane in, in War Thunder. So I'm imagining it'll be the same in this game. It'll be hard to unlock new planes. And it'll also cost a lot. So I guess let's just go to battle, shall we? <laughs> you think Russia is the best? It, it might be. I don't know. Let's... Uh, this is a screen I don't know. Um... I have joined the queue for a battle. Um, there's 19 fighters, I guess. Is my mouse in the stream? It is in the stream. Okay, good. Yes, I'm playing as the Americans. I didn't even think about what I was playing as. Uh, something I know a lot of people do in World of Tanks is they just pick a country and play as that country. And I'm imagining you'll have to do the same thing in this game if you want to really reach rank 10 in any country. Uh... I don't know. I play War Thunder all the con I play all the countries in War Thunder equally, so I might do that in this game. My mouse disappeared. Okay, we're loading. That's why my mouse disappeared. I am flying a P12. We're actually down a man. How wonderful. Um Is the game too loud? It looks like it's kind of barely playing. Can you even hear the game? <laughs> you guys will have to let me know about that, because I can't hear my own stream. If I heard my own stream, you'd get an echo, which would be terrible. So, W, S, uh, chat is entered. Good hunting. That's loud. Um, how do I go into the game? That'd be nice to know. Escape back to game. There we go. Uh, C is probably not to look around, is it? No, will it be? No. Well, I don't even know how to look around. I didn't look at the controls. That would have been a smart thing to do. The sound is good, now it is not. Yep, the game. I'm confused. Does it sound good or not? I have no way of really knowing. Uh, let's do this. I don't care if I crash. I might be crashing while doing this. How is the sound now? The sound should be much better now. Back to battle. I am over enemy territory. <laughs> now if this game is anything like World of Tanks, then... You'll only get this one plane, and then once you lose it, you're out. Just like a just historical battle in War Thunder. I assume it's going to be the same. What did I just do? Oh, M is map. Oh, I wanted the... How do I make the mini-map bigger? I know you can do that in World of Tanks. I don't know how to make the mini-map bigger. 
I never actually played World of Tanks. I'm sure the keys are probably the probably pretty similar. But I don't know the keys that oh, I'm being shot at. And I'm rotating. Can I turn around and get this guy? Do I have enough skill to be able to turn around in this game? I can! Um, where's the lead indicator? I don't know. There's supposed to be one, though. I know I've seen one. Ah. I hit him. I hit him. That's good. Apparently there's some friendly fire going on. The kill feed's above the minimap at the bottom right. Oh, right mouse button to look around. There we go. Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Yeah, it's a closed beta, so you have to sign up. I got lucky. Uh, one of the magazines that I read was giving away a thousand keys. I tried probably 30 keys out of the thousand, and this one worked. So I got in. Uh, I think they're all used at this point, though, because I got in a while ago. There we go. Some damage to him. Where's my ammo? My ammo down there? That text is so tiny. I feel like I should play this game at a lower resolution than my computer can handle just because that text is so tiny at this resolution. I have never seen such tiny text. Yeah, I was lucky getting in. They only had a thousand keys, and I'm pretty sure they have over a thousand readers. Any magazine really should. Destroy you are getting close to defeat. Target. Okay. Uh, warning low altitude? Who's shooting at me? And how do I get off? Get them off my tail? Can I just flip over? Maybe? Did that work? No. Did I die? How did we lose? They achieved supremacy. I can't tell if I died or not. Where do I see if I died? Um, is that icon, the one with the crosshair, is that the number of kills we got? Because if so, then nobody got any kills this game. It, they're all zeros. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I got some stars and some silver thingies, I don't know, probably currency. Um, personal score. I damaged this guy. That arrow must mean nothing, it's probably not even an arrow. Shots fired 72, hit 17. Hits received 42. I didn't do too well. Oh, okay, it automatically leaves the battle. Okay. <laughs> Is the sound good, or was the sound good? It looked good on my meters, but my meters are really tiny as well. So it's hard to gauge. I don't know why X split meters are so tiny. Good? Awesome. Okay. Um, so that's credits. Okay, so the silver things are credits. We can convert experience to research things, but it costs gold. Okay, same as War Thunder. You can convert experience using gold and more thunder as well. If I wanted to buy an aircraft, how much would it cost? Like, I wanted to buy this one. That's 325 stars? No, requires 67 stars? I don't know. Do I have to pay to research? Oh, it costs 3,000... Uh, what is this thing called? Credits? Uh, to buy the plane, but then to research the plane I also have to pay? If any of you played World of Tanks, help me out here. Because <laughs> this is really similar to World of Tanks, I know that much. I just never played World of Tanks, I've only seen other people play it. And credits is not something you have to pay attention to when you're watching other people play, usually. So I have 2681 credits. Uh, purchase aircraft. So if I wanted to buy this P-23, I could almost do it. But then I don't know what these star thingies are. I have 12 stars up at the top right. 
it says it requires 67 in red, but then it also says 325 in green. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go fly some more. Should we fly as the USSR this time? Let's just do it. Fly as every country. Fly one plane as every country. The guy who called your damage is too loud. So voices are too loud? I called my damage. There was a guy mentioning my damage? I don't remember that. Maybe there was. Oh. I'll turn down voices. Then we will... Once we're in the game, I'll turn down voices. Okay. 25 fighters, 12 heavy fighters, 4 attack aircraft, 8 carrier-based fighters. Lots of rank 2 pilots, as you can see right there. That's 11 right there. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know how well it's going to turn out in the stream. It looks like a bad War Thunder. That's basically what Jingles called it. If you don't know who Jingles is, look up Bohemian Eagle on YouTube. He does World of Tanks and War Thunder and this game. Although not really this game because he doesn't like it. But yeah, that's what he called this bad War Thunder or ugly War Thunder. He does say that it's a game where if you put the time into it, you can become really good at it. But who knows how it'll do. War Thunder does look really good, especially for how good it is, or how far it is into development. It's not very far in development, and it looks really good. Yep, War Thunder's only in beta, although it's open beta, and this is closed beta, which usually comes before open beta. But I don't think they're ever going to get this game to look as good as War Thunder. Because I am running at 30 FPS when I play the game. At least I was last game, this time I'm at 70. So <laughs> maybe it's decently optimized. I don't have that good of a computer either. And I'm streaming. Streaming takes a lot of resources, you'd be surprised. The only reason I'm streaming in 720p right now is because I can't do 1080. My computer's not good enough. Otherwise it would be 1080 and you'd... The, the stream would be so much clearer. You'd be able to even read text on the screen. Good hunting. Okay. You said voices are too loud? Well, I fly into the enemy territory. Let's try and fix that. Volume. Uh, voice messages. We'll turn them down. Oh, I have to click. I can't click and drag. Oh, there we go. Couple voices at 60. See how that goes. I think you can buy more weapons for your planes with the research points. I think so too, yeah. You can buy weapons and armor and probably some other stuff, like you can roll the tanks. We'll take a look at that after this game, if I remember to. So can I like set a target? Is that how we get a target lead indicator? Middle clicking does not set the target. I have a guy coming after me. Yay, he missed me. Oh, I'm I'm still being shot at though. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh boy. Am I? Maneuverability reduced. Maneuverability reduced. Am I I'm not even in enemy territory. Why am I getting shot at so badly? The tail is damaged. Maneuverability reduced. Tail is damaged. Maneuverability reduced. Oh, wonderful. Uh, can I even hit that guy? There's a target lead indicator. Oh, did I hit him at least? I don't know if I even hit the guy. I know I shot at him. It didn't look like I did, but I shot at him. Fail. Yes, that was a fail. <laughs> Right click to switch between allied aircraft. Let's watch somebody else fly. Maybe they'll do better. I 
This is gonna be a turning fight. There we go. <laughs> oh, and he has a guy on his tail now. I'm betting there'll be a lot of strategy that goes into this game, because you only get one plane, and then you're out. Um, also, a lot of people who play this game will probably be people who played World of Tanks, and I know a lot of strategy went into that game whenever you played. I'm amazed this guy is still alive. Is it Axis versus Allies? Let's see, that's an American plane. This is a Russian plane, Russian plane, American, the same American. Maybe. Because all our planes are Russian and American, so... I don't know, it might be Axis versus Allies. Oh! <laughs> that was a teammate who just crashed there. I guess the kill messages are all green and red. They're no, they don't mean friendly fire. I thought they would have colored each player individually, but it doesn't. That was close. And what did he get shot down by? An enemy aircraft. I apparently didn't see it. We have one aircraft left, they have three. Ours is on fire. One of theirs is on fire. One of theirs is not on fire. They have a third one somewhere else. I don't know where. This game definitely doesn't look as good as War Thunder. Okay, we lost. Let's just uh, wait for the screen. So I got zero kills. Somebody on their team got a kill? No, that can't be what that's about. Maybe the plane icon means it, because... No, I'm at zero. And I did lose my plane, but then there's a guy at negative one. Does that mean friendly fire? I think the plane icon is the number of kills you got. Negative one is friendly fire. Anything positive is enemies killed. I mean, that's what it is. I'm not sure, though. I didn't see any destroyers shooting. I did see some kind of uh, ships, but I didn't see anything shooting at us. You think so? We'll take a look at that after we check out um, add-ons for planes, whatever they're called. So, modules? Yeah. So I have that engine. What does it take to unlock this one? 53 stars. I have 13. Because I did hardly anything that game. I got one star. Oh. 118 stars. But then 170 in green. I don't know what that means. Why is it 170 in green but then 118 in red? Who knows? I can apparently use this uh, synchronized machine gun. Oh. Unable to mount. Incompatible with the airframe. So, I need a different airframe? Oh, I need this airframe. There's arrows going from this airframe to this airframe to this machine gun. Okay. If I go home and check the, or choose this aircraft, not check the aircraft. Anything unlocked here? No. Right? Oh, I can... What? <laughs> um, so this will cost me sixteen fifty. What is this anyway? I don't even know what I'm. I don't even know what I'm looking at. That's a an airframe. What does it do for me? I don't know what it does for me. It doesn't say. What did I click on? <laughs> um. I have no idea what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> That's probably why you don't know what you're doing. Or, you don't know what I'm doing. You probably know what you're doing. Okay, I clicked the tech tree is what happened. Additional equipment. Ooh. Oh, but this, these things are expensive. 50,000 credits. I have 4,600. Okay, so if I wanted this, I could research it but I don't know what it does for me. 
which makes me not want it. <laughs> does it tell me over here? Oh, it does tell me on the right side. Okay. I guess I can explain a little bit of what I'm doing in case you're totally lost. Uh, these are add-ons for your plane, so as you get experience, you can unlock add-ons, basically, and improve it. Kind of like you can get the upgraded engine or improved airframe in War Thunder. You can uh, do things like that in this game, but instead they're engines, airframe, machine guns. Aren't there a tutorial for this? This is what I am doing. Uh, tutorial. There's not a tutorial. I didn't find one anyway. If there is one... Account management is not what I need. Gold, experience, settings, or really menu. No tutorial there. Service. Now this is all plain stuff. What is this? Um... Improved ammunition? I guess. And I can also have things like this, which are one-time use. So I could have like a first aid kit, so if my pilot gets hurt, I can heal him up. Kind of like you repair your tracks in World of Tanks. I keep comparing this to World of Tanks as if you guys have played it. I don't think any of you have played it since nobody said you have, or nobody said they had when I asked. Maybe somebody who's joined since then and knows World of Tanks. I have? Okay. Um, so that's one person. At least one person. So I guess I can improve... I think that this is a buy each time, or buy for a certain amount of ammo. It says 1 times 25. Let's get the incendiary belt. So price is 25. What does that say? Per item is 25. That text is so tiny. I have literally never seen such tiny text in a game. Um, so, in the depot is zero? So I don't even have an... In, in, no, I'm using the incendiary belt that I have? No. If I do that... The start tanks suck. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Apparently, you say they do, so I'm going to assume you're right, and you're probably, you probably are right, considering what you get at tier three, compared to what I've seen at tier two, even. You saw it and hated it. Yeah, I hated the fact that it was pay to win. I mean, it, it's not actually pay to win, but like, you you want to reach rank ten if you can and stay at rank ten simply because you'll never fight against a rank twelve tank. So you'd have the best tank in the game, basically. And the only way to really quickly reach rank 10 and stay there is to pay. So in a way, it's pay to win, and I didn't like that. War Thunder is also kind of the same, but it, then again, the planes between like each rank are not very different. So I don't really consider it to be pay to win. I just consider it to be pay to advance faster. So let's just go fly some more. What do you say? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently I don't have other ammunition options. So go to battle. Zero dropped frames. My internet is really good. <laughs> they are free to play and the devs have to earn money. Yes, but there's a difference between free to play and then you can pay if you want certain things and being free to play but pay to win. And pay to win is terrible. There have been some good games that I simply don't play because they are pay to win. I don't like that. So what am I even flying? I didn't pay attention. Americans, okay. 
So P12 AR68 Type 91. So it yeah, Type 91 is Japanese, so it's not Axis versus Allies to the guy who asked. MSJJ DKMC. <laughs> Does that mean anything, or is it just a whole bunch of letters? Because there's no vowels in there. For Narnia. Good hunting. Okay. So this time, I am not going to go up to the front lines. We're not going to fail like we did in the last game. I'm going to go with these guys. Yeah, let's fly together. It's probably the way to go. Let's see. So we don't see any enemies yet. Ships. Ships. We want to check ships. I don't know how to zoom, but there is something down there. It looks like a plane on water. I don't know what that's about. Uh, there's some ships on the under, near the bottom of the screen. There's some ships down there. Ships up there, next to my left wing. Uh, there's enemy ships over there. They don't seem to be shooting at us, so I don't think enemy ground units shoot at you, but I might be wrong. I had to find a name, you should have thought of that before. There's so many taken names, that's the issue. I mean, you can always have your name with the number at the end. Like Nitro 14 or something. But... I don't... I don't know. You do have to be pretty creative with the name. I'm sure to a lot of people, my name just looks like a whole bunch of letters that mean nothing. I mean, if you look at it, it looks like Skama Supra. <laughs> people don't get that, it's CMA. I've been called Kama Supra so many times, you'd be surprised. So I know there's an enemy somewhere near me. Where is he? Oh, he's on my tail. <laughs> yeah, don't shoot at me, dude. You're on fire. You might as well just go in the ocean. Um, oh, don't crash into don't crash into a friendly. That would be pretty bad. Oh, wonderful! This guy is on my tail. Okay, let's just go up. I, I, okay, there we go. I pressed shift, and I was like, "What happened?" I'm used to pressing shift from War Thunder. Is that no? It's a friendly. I need to remember, after this game, let's look at the controls. Or I should look at the controls. Because... There's some things I want to know how to do, like make the minimap bigger. Is the enemy dead? The enemy is dead. There's no longer any red on my minimap. One, two, three, four enemies remaining. Three friendlies. I think they're all over here. I'm heading straight for them, and I'm the only person heading for them, according to the minimap. That is not a good thing for me. For my teammates. There's one over there. I think there's one in front of me. Over here. Unless that's a tank. It looks like a tank. It looks like, looks like it's on the ground. A tank or something. Okay, two friendlies remaining. It's me and a guy over there. I'm not going to go th over there alone. I'll just get shot down. So, let's go back to my friendly teammate. I am out of luck. I am. We're probably screwed. Two of us versus four of them, and I don't know how to fly. I think we're screwed. <laughs> Did my teammate just crash? No, he's shooting ground targets. Oh. That is smart. Now, how do I target this thing? So that's two things I want to know. How do I target something, and how do I make the minimap bigger when we're out of this game? An enemy just crashed. No, he didn't. There's still four of them. That must be an old message. Oh, wow, these. 
That takes a lot of bullets. I'm, I'm halfway through my belt. Okay. I can see my ammo. Oh dear. I can see my ammo at the bottom. It's the left icon at the bottom middle. Where's the enemy? I don't even see them. They're behind me. Oh, damage beat. Wow. I'm being shot at from the ground? Okay, apparently they do shoot at you. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Friendly AA gun string is something. I missed it. Target not locked. Does it automatically lock the target then? Maybe that's what it does. There's only two enemy planes remaining. I don't think I can take them though. If this was War Thunder, I'd try because it's War Thunder, and that's what you do. You don't go for ground targets most of the time. But this is not War Thunder. That's what I need to be shooting at, the thing that's shooting at me. Where are the enemies? They're not anywhere close to me. You're getting we close to defeat. To Enemy team has an 85% advantage. Oh my gosh, 95, 96, 98, we've lost. Yeah. Enemy team achieves supremacy. Okay. Well, I did get either 3,783 credits or that times two. So what do you think about the aiming controls compared to War Thunder? I think this is better. Um, it's not as fluid, I guess you could say, but I think this is better. I think this aiming control is better than War Thunder's. Enemy target times two was damaged. I hit, I hit most of my shots. I fired 254 and I hit, no, I fired 310, I hit 254. I received 86 hits and didn't go down, which is surprising, considering I went down with 71 first game. Okay, so controls. <laughs> Settings. Controls. Mouse, definitely. Strafing mode, left shift, that's fine. Eh, press, sure. Um, so we want battle interface. How do I make the minimap bigger? bigger. Navigation, show map, zoom in, zoom out. Oh, zoom the... So it's either the two brackets or it's equal and minus. Okay, it's one of those two. I'll have to figure it out later when I'm in the game. And then the other thing I wanted to check out was how do you target something? No, not flight. Fire. Drop bomb is B or space. R is rocket. Flaps are E. I feel like I should change that to F. <laughs> Again, I don't have a clue what you're doing. Okay, I'm just looking at the controls. Um, lock target C. Okay. Those are the two things I wanted to figure out, so I figured them out. So C is target, E is flaps, and minimap is either brackets or plus and minus. Let's fly as the Germans. And then we'll fly as the Japs, if I remember to. Twenty-eight players in queue, most of which are rank one and two. I guess there's lots of new people playing. Most people are flying fighters, which makes sense. They're the most fun, and more thunder. So I would assume that they're the most fun in this one as well. Nazi. I'm flying in Nazi. I'm helping the Nazis in World War II. <laughs>
I don't know if it takes longer or shorter to get a game in this game compared to War Thunder. I haven't played this game enough. It seems to be taking shorter time, actually. At least compared to historical battles in War Thunder. In War Thunder, if you play arcade, you get it practically instantly. So, are there bombers? There are. And some people are even flying bombers. I saw some people were flying bombers in the queue, waiting for a game. I haven't seen any of the bombers, but apparently there are. Why isn't there a Panzer Elite faction? I should have the Wehrmacht, the Panzer Elite, the... I don't know, whatever else. The Austere. <laughs> have three different German factions, basically. Be the weirdest game ever. You have like the Americans, the Japanese, and the Russians, and then you have three Germans. <laughs> I thought that was funnier than it probably is. Good hunting. Good hunting. So C is to lock target. E is flaps. No flaps. Okay, so flaps is useless. What's F do? It puts me in first person as long as I'm holding down F. That's unusual. <laughs> okay. Cover me, says Andrew Butler. Hey, he, I've actually seen him in a World of Tanks video. I don't know where he is, though. How do I know which one's Andrew Butler? Who knows? So how do you make the minimap bigger? There we go. That's probably a good size. I'm being shot at while I mess with the minimap. Let's just not go in that engagement. Let's turn around and get the guy from behind. Unless he outturns me. Which he might. I don't know. Currently I have the lead on him, which is a good thing. Yeah, I'm outturning him. Awesome. I'm being shot at by something though. There's a few enemies around me, some in from some friendly planes coming to join though. Such as the one in front of me. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Mr. Friendly Plane. Don't hit my friendly plane either though. Oh my gosh, that was close. <laughs> oh. A wing is damaged. A wing is damaged. Is reduced. Mobility is reduced. Okay. I feel like they don't need to say that. They should just have some indicator. I feel like that'd be much better. Like War, like War Thunder does, where it just gives you the damage indicator on the left side. That's a biplane. I thought that was a bomber. I'm being shot. I haven't fired a single bullet this game. Oh. That is true. My face is in the wrong spot if I want to let you guys see the map. Where's the British faction? That is not here. I just realized that. It is not here, is it? Maybe it's in the Americans. We'll check. The Luftwaffe. That's basically what this is. Luftwaffe. Let's just go back to the hangar. It said we'll get everything after the game is over anyways. Well, that's interesting. If I leave the battle, I don't get my plane back until the battle's over. That's interesting. Okay, so my face is in the wrong spot. Let's fix that. What would have been a good corner to have it in? Now I have to try and remember the GUI. Would top right have been good? We'll move it after uh, I start another game. Left, top left? I'll see when I start another game, we'll see where all the GUI items are and where I can place my face. I forgot about that, I didn't even think of that. I'm covering the, the minimap. So let's try the Japanese next. Yeah, okay, Jingle said there's no British planes. If I check the tech tree for Americans, that's the only place it might be. Now oh, these are all American planes. So... Would they be under Russians? Mix the Russians and Germans. 
No, there's no British. Okay. Top left? Okay. I will, let's start the battle, and I will make sure that is a good spot. Actually, I might as well just move it now. And then if it happens to be a right spot, it's already done. Hold on one second. Okay. Let's go back into the game. And I still haven't gotten into a battle. Oh, yeah. I feel like the top left is kind of weird because... Actually, no, it looks good. Yeah, my face is then facing towards the middle of the screen. And if it wasn't, I could always reverse the camera and you wouldn't notice a difference. <laughs> I wonder how this game is actually going to do. Because War Thunder is definitely more accessible in that you get multiple planes per fight, so you do get the ability to respawn. And it also is... it has a more forgiving flight model compared to this one. So this one might not do well, or it might, I don't know. So at the top left we have friendly planes, at the top right we have enemy planes, at the bottom right we have a map, at the bottom left we have something. There's a gooey item there, but I don't know what it is. Maybe the bottom left would be a good plot spot to put my face. I could put it like in the middle of the left side. <laughs> Make it look kind of weird. Yeah, let's move my face. I don't like it covering the... Um, the mini-map. Mini-map. There we go. Good hunting. Let me know if having my face in the middle just looks weird. I imagine it will, but let me know if it just looks weird. Otherwise I'll put it in the bottom left, because I don't, I don't know what's there, it doesn't look like anything. So I wouldn't really be covering anything. The, the mini-map does look like World of Tanks, because it's made by the same developers, it's actually supposed to be World of Tanks in the air. Um, that's what it's supposed to be. So. I would imagine that anything in this game will look like World of Tanks. So I'm pressing C, but it's not targeting this guy. There we go. I'm being blown to pieces. Engine is damaged. Unable to boost. <laughs> so at the bottom left, we have a target uh, screen kind of thingy. So I don't want to cover that up either. Yeah, well then, <laughs> it didn't last very long at all. Uh. Hey, a bomber! It even has bombs under it. I see three bombs. No idea what weight those are, but I see three bombs. <laughs> How do I... Is there a way to zoom out from the aircraft? Oh, there is! Scroll wheel! That was simple enough. First try. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is he fighting someone or is he just doing spins in the air? Yeah, get the lead on your opponent. I guess I could say this game seems like a mix between War Thunder's arcade battles and historical battles. It's not like a mix is really needed there, but it's a good mix. It's a good spot for a mix, better than the mix between historical battles and full real battles. That wouldn't have done that would not have done well, simply because most people don't have joysticks. Is this in the desert of Africa? I have no idea. 
I have no idea where this map is supposed to be located. I just realized this guy has no landing gear. <laughs> he has no landing gear. Like, there's... Looking at the bottom of the plane, there is not even a spot for landing gear. Actually, there is a spot. Either that or that's a bomb spot. Oh, they're on the side of the plane. I didn't see them there. Okay. Never mind. The plane was made in the air. <laughs> it was made in the air, and whenever you want to fly it, you have to first go in the air and get into the We're plane. To win. We won! That's my first We've win. Won. Yay! I'm surprised. I didn't expect that win. How did we win, though? We shot down... four enemy planes. And then there was, I guess there was one friendly fire, which is why he was negative one. <laughs> the water looks different. It looks really still, yeah. Water is not something they seem to have worked on very much. So when you lose an aircraft, do you get charged a fee? I don't know if you do. That is something I'd be interested in knowing. I'm looking at the machine guns for these. They both have two, or they all have seven, two? Okay, they all have two 7.62 millimeter guns, except this one's 7.92, and this one's 7.7. .7. But they're all pretty much the same. How about the rest of the stats? Oh. 35, 18, 77. 77. So this one is faster, it has more hit points, it's less maneuverable. Okay, it's more of an energy fighter than this one. So there's actually differences between these biplanes. I was not expecting that. But that is a good thing. Huh. Let's fight the Americans again. Just because I am American. <laughs> Battle. Still zero dropped frames. I am surprised. Is the stream smooth for you guys still when I'm playing the game? It might be a little unclear because I'm I am playing at 1080p, but I'm streaming at 720p. But it is smooth. Okay, good. The settings are good. Awesome. That's one of the hardest things with streaming, and that's why I, I spent weeks trying to set it up, is trying to get the right settings. I did a whole bunch of local recordings to try and get it perfect. But then when you're streaming for real, it's a bit different. Lots of tier 6 players all of a sudden. There's 12 of them. And there's only 4 tier 1 and 2 tier 2, which is normally where most of the planes are. I don't have any tier 6 planes though, so I'm not going to be joining them. I have all tier 1. <laughs> Awesome. Stream is smooth. Great matchmaking. It actually kind of is. I mean, I've only seen like tier 1, 2, maybe tier 3 planes in this game so far. I haven't seen anything high tier like I have in War Thunder, where I'll play a historical battle as a rank 5 aircraft and see a level 20 jet. A rank 20 jet. Those are called ranks in War Thunder. Not enough people play historical battles in War Thunder. At least on the American server. I haven't actually checked the EU server since the American server got historical battles, because they didn't actually have historical battles at first. See, it looks like you have four faithful subs. <laughs> I don't have very many, I'll say that much. I do have a thousand subs, but I only get, like, on my Company of Heroes videos, I'll get between 120 and 200 views, which is a huge range, really. But then my Minecraft videos will get maybe 30. Um, between all my series combined, I don't even reach like 400 people. Like if every single one of my subs only watched one series, I don't even reach 400 people total. And yet I have over 1,200 subs. So I have a lot of inactive subs, that's for sure. 
Oh well. It's like saying I have a hundred or ten. In reality, I think a lot of those 1200 subs are old accounts or just people who don't find me entertaining anymore. Which makes sense, because even I've unsubbed from people, or I, I am subbed to people I don't watch, because sometimes I'll watch one of their videos if I'm, like, bored or they have a really interesting one. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of my subs are the same way. Let's go to the right. Let's get- oh! Oh, I can zoom into first person. That is interesting. I don't think I'd want to fly like this, though. Does it really lag that bad when I'm zooming? It appears to lag, but it, yet it doesn't lag. I don't know. It's interesting. Let's fly this far out. That's a lot of planes. This is actually a big match. Let's go down and help my team teammates. Three teammates versus four enemy planes. It's balanced. Four of us versus four of them. Okay, let's uh, pull up so I can shoot at something. Target the guy. Yeah, there we go. And... Ah. Come on. Ah. I wanted to shoot at him. Why don't you let me shoot at the guy? Let's shoot at this guy then. He seems to be an easier target. Did I hit the guy? I think I hit him. He was flashing. Yeah! I'm hitting him. Saving my teammate. Hopefully. Okay, let's go for this guy now. Ah. My rudder is terrible. I can't turn while staying flat. Oh, now I'm being shot at. That's not a good thing. Why did it, it... why is... why is he no longer selected? I didn't deselect him from targeting. Oh, there we go. Don't crash. Pull up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't crash into a friendly. Or an enemy, for that case. I'm sure there was some wrong English in there. Come on. Don't hit my friendly, though. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Let's go for this guy. He was a thousand meters away. He's a kilometer away. Quite literally. I have an enemy behind me? No, that's a different part of the minimap. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong spot. Okay, my teammate got him. Um, there's a plane over here that needs to be shot down. You are living 20 seconds. <laughs> it's a new record. Hey, I hit the guy! Yay! I did one damage, though. Can I shoot down a guy? I had destroyed an enemy. That's a record. My first enemy destroyed. My first kill in this game. Okay, so apparently this game auto-targets for you. I didn't press C on this guy, but he does have a lead indicator, which means he's targeted. So just like War Thunder, it targets for you. But it, this game also... Oh! Last enemy aircraft. Well, now there's only one enemy remaining. You're not supposed to crash, dude. You're supposed to let me shoot you down instead. We oh, we win. Won. Last enemy suicided, I guess. I don't know. I got a lot of credits for that, as well as, okay, I got 809 blue stars, possibly times four. I don't know if that's before the times four or after the times four, but that's a lot of stars. So does that, does that mean I can upgrade my aircraft now? I don't know. I have 142 experience, which is stars, but it's not the same stars, apparently. 
I don't know how this is working. <laughs> oh, apparently you get times two for your first win. There's a times two on my Japanese aircraft. And a times two on my Russian aircraft. But there's not on my German and American because I've won a game in both of those. There's an HP bar under your head. Like on the stream or under my... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the HP bar for the person I'm targeting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I have HP. <laughs> Let's do a wave. See how delayed my stream is. A few seconds. Not bad. If it gets too delayed, I'll restart the stream. Which will take all of two seconds. Um, okay. So... Let's get a win in a Russian aircraft and a Japanese aircraft. Because I haven't yet gotten a win in that. Actually, I want to check if I can use or unlock things. Okay, research price is 170 experience. It says I can do it. I can click the research button, and yet I don't have 170 stars or experience. I don't know how this is working. I have no clue how this is working. Um, let's just go ahead and purchase this and then we will fly. Research the airframe, yeah. And then, how about this? Any... Oh, I have to research it and then I have to buy and mount it. Okay. And then I can mount this thing for free, apparently. I didn't have to buy it. I didn't have to buy it. Okay, so I have an improved machine gun. And I have an improved airframe, so my... What stats did it show? I can't remember. Mount. So this gives me plus 16 in firepower. That's actually really good. Wow. It went from 17 to 33. That is really good. So now that I've done that, improve the airframe and machine guns, let's fly with this thing. MSJJDK, you watch all my videos. I know you said that while I was playing, but I didn't see it because I was playing. You watch all my videos. That is awesome. I know I have a few people who watch every single one of my videos. That is awesome. My Camel Humps, or The Camel Humps. Hey, you have a different name between here and YouTube. You do too, apparently. And that's why you're here, because you watch my videos. That is awesome. I know you actually do watch a lot of my videos. You've done a lot of commenting. MSJJ, I don't have a clue what, you, what your name is on YouTube. <laughs> you may have commented on a whole bunch of my videos, and I have no idea. So, um, 32 people in the queue. C-O-H-I-E-X. I don't comment much. I don't blame you. I don't comment much on other people's videos either. I like your videos, says Camel Humps. As if I really needed to, leave, to read that aloud. I have a question. How many of you are watching this in full screen, and how many of you are watching this in the window with the chat on the right side? Because I want to know. I'm curious how many people watch streams in full screen now that the stream window is actually so big since the change to Twitch, which many of you may not realize. With the chat and small. Okay. I do the same thing now that the stream window is so big. Twitch actually had a really small screen in the past. It was so annoying. You could either maximize the video and watch it and actually be able to see things, or you could watch the chat and have it not minimized. Or not maximized. Not full screened. There we go. Usually doing other stuff while watching. Yeah, I do the same thing for videos. Good hunting. Good hunting. Let's see how many people we can kill. We killed one guy last game. Okay, that's hilarious chat. Uh, for those of you who didn't see, 
that someone asked in the chat, how do I shoot with the rear gunner in the plane? Because, like, bombers have rear gunners. And the guy responded, you have to fly backwards. <laughs> yeah. Six people watching my stream. That is awesome. I am... I'm not really at the front of this, but I am the second guy at the front of this onslaught of friendly plane. But there is a guy in front of us who I should really be targeting and shooting at. Oh boy, I'm being shot at now. I'm at... F no, my enemy is at 50% health. Awesome. Ooh, oh. Can I hit him? Can I kill him? <laughs> Don't scare me like that, friendly plane. I destroyed an enemy, yes! targeted this guy. I don't know if I have more man maneuverability than this guy does. I appear to, though. I seem to be getting a lead on him. Uh, my teammate's shooting at him. I should probably shoot on the guy who's chasing my teammate. Shoot at the guy who's chasing my teammate. I should probably end the stream soon. I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> Come on, shoot the guy. Or rather, aim at the guy and then I'll click. Boy, so many close collision collisions in this game, I've noticed that. I hit the guy, yay! Why did I turn? I don't know. Why did you turn? I don't think I have a better or more maneuverable plane than this guy. I don't seem to be catching him, really. Then again, now I am. Aw. Oh. Temporarily, I was. So it seems like in this game, people have health bars rather than critical components. So, like, you can shoot at their gear leg and take them down completely. Unlike in War Thunder, where if you shoot at the gear leg, you're just gonna damage the gear leg. You're not actually gonna... You're not actually gonna kill the plane, or destroy the plane. We were pretty close to crashing right there, me and that enemy. <laughs> that enemy and I. Okay, this enemy plane is almost dead. Am I going to get two kills this game? That would be awesome. My teammate's actually doing a good job keeping this guy in a spot where my teammate won't get damaged, but I can shoot at him. But then this guy gets off my teammate, of course. Oh. Oh, I got the enemy destroyed for that. A wing is I will take it. <laughs> okay, I have a guy. Oh, I needed to deal with them, but I couldn't. But I got two kills. That's like a record. Yeah. Okay, a whole bunch of comments to read. Uh, yeah, I don't really like the health bar type thing, but at the same time, if you played if you played War Thunder, you know how annoying it is when. Actually, let's watch people. But you know how annoying it is when you're getting shot at and then instantly you're dead because your pilot died. That's really annoying. So this doesn't really have that happen because you have a health bar. And so this, in a way, we is won. better. We won! Yay! So we got my time. I got my times two. I got a lot of stars there. Wow, twenty-two seventy-seven. Compensation for damage caused by allies. Oh, War Thunder should do that. I get paid for taking damage from allies. So if an enemy shoots me, I get paid. <laughs> that is awesome. War Thunder should totally do that. But as I was explaining, um, the HP bar is both a good thing and a bad thing. I think overall it's a worse thing. I do like the more realistic feel of War Thunder, because as I said in one of my War Thunder videos, perhaps the previous one, um, I do like some realism in my games. Uh, what else? Uh... 
So is this better than War Thunder? I don't know. I would say no, compared to... Well, yeah. I'd say no compared to even arcade and historical battles individually. This is better... This is worse than both of those, I would say. But this is still fun. So... I don't know. Um... I got your legs, you die at random, yeah. That's the health bar thing. I think he was on fire. He might have been when they crashed, but I thought they crashed, and if they crash, whoever crashes gets the kill, but maybe that's not how it works, because this is not War Thunder. I've never actually shot at somebody and then had them crash and seen whether or not he got the kill. So maybe that's how this game works. Free money, yeah. Uh, you get paid for allies shooting at you. War Thunder totally needs to do that. They really do. So let's go into a game. If War Thunder did that, I could afford to fly my jets. If War Thunder did what? Route? I don't know what I was talking about at the time. Was it uh, the HP bar? If War Thunder had HP bars, you could afford to fly your jets. If they had a ton of HP, maybe. Maybe then. But I think if you're flying jets in War Thunder, the thing, I think what they were trying to do with jets is they were allowing you to fly jets if you wanted to, but you had to pay real money to do that and actually um, keep uh, flying your jet. But otherwise, if you didn't want to pay real money, you had to fly the lower tier planes, which makes sense. They also don't want a ton of jets in their games because people will think... Oh, everybody's flying jets. I don't have a chance. I might as well just quit the game, and then slowly but surely the game off, the game would just die off, and nobody would be playing War Thunder anymore. They don't want that. So you were talking about giving money when the allies shoot you. Oh, would you just shoot your allies route? Is that what you would do? You just shoot your allies with the jet, and then you could afford to keep it? Or no. Your allies would shoot at you, right? Wow. <laughs> Get up to Fokker Wolf in Germany and War Thunder. It's pay to win, it seems. Really? Fokker Wolf? It's pay to win. Maybe it's just pay to keep playing, because I know at rank 5 where I am, I am having no issues making money. I am taking a ton of money. Even maybe like half my games, I don't make that much. I make maybe 2,000 credits, which is nothing. Um, but the planes are so cheap to repair. You can easily make money. So I don't know. I feel like it's a pay to advance quickly type of game. And if you want to keep flying at high tiers, you do have to pay real money. Around rank 14 to 15. Oh, wow. I didn't think Fokker Wolf was that high, but okay. <laughs> rank 5 versus rank 15. That's a bit of a difference, isn't it? I think rank 10 is the sweet spot. I don't know. I haven't actually reached rank 10, so I wouldn't know. But I think that's a sweet spot for where you make as much as you lose in War Thunder. You got your first Fokker Wolf without paying anything in War Thunder. If you mean real money, then yeah, that makes sense. If you mean in-game money, I have to question how you got that Fokker Wolf. The <laughs> game, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planes each. Okay. The game actually waits until everybody is loaded. Really? That's something... Nope, it doesn't wait the whole time. People are still loading. Only a few people left, though. War Thunder doesn't wait for anyone. As soon as the server is loaded, it's time to go. <laughs> it's kind of a good thing, though. It means the people who are late will simply be at the back of the pack, which is fine. Without real money. Good yeah, you can buy the Fokker Wolf without real money. I just mean, like, if you want to keep flying it and keep maintaining it, you have to pay real money, because otherwise you're just going to keep losing uh, Silver Lions credits in War Thunder, because the plane will cost more to repair than you can make in a game. That's just the issue. Which does make sense. I don't disagree with them on that. How far out can I go? Only that far. 
Okay, let's just fly maxed out. I am not flying near any teammates at all. Let's go over here. I've targeted someone without realizing it. I need to pay more attention. <laughs> oh, I hit the guy. Ah. If you fly into somebody, it makes it much harder for them to shoot at you. Like that guy did to me, he flew into me so I couldn't really shoot at him. And now I'm doing the same to him. He can't shoot at me. He missed me entirely. Stall warning. Speed up. Stall warning. That's the first time I've seen that. Okay, I don't know whose plane is more maneuverable. All I know is this is not... This is a turning fight, but not the typical turning fight you'd see where you're just flying in circles, literally. This is like doing acrobatics. We've lost one plane. The enemy team has lost quite a few more. Four planes, actually. Oh great, I've left this guy on my tail. Uh, how do I get him off? Which way do I want to go? Let's go this way. That didn't work at all. Is he stalling? He might be stalling. He kind of looked like he was. Is a teammate here? Yeah, there's a teammate coming to my rescue. Awesome. I will take your rescue. Okay, now let's fly up. Throttle all the way up. And try to avoid this guy. Oh, my teammate gets the ability to... Sh oh, I'm behind him! Yes! That is perfect. I want to be behind him. Okay, come on. Turn! There we go! It wasn't turning! Now I'm in front of him as a result. Why wasn't my plane turning? And once again, it wasn't turning. Maybe it has something to... Dang it. I did hit him at least, but maybe it has something to do with the fact that I was so low in altitude that the game was pulling up for me, and so I couldn't turn. Maybe that's what it is. Let's see. Is that the enemy who shot me down? My kill message isn't there anymore. So I can't tell who shot me down. curious if we're going to get the win. If we do, I'm going to get the times two I'm wanting. Okay, see a uh, green text guy? I am Pyron. He probably left already. Considering I did probably message that quite a while ago. But it was good having you on, because every streamer, every viewer is awesome. It helps. Where's the enemy? He is over here somewhere. There he is! <laughs> look at the minimap to try and find him, and then I look up at the screen, and hey, there he is! He is... Pretty obvious on the screen. You are awesome, you are awesome. I will agree. <laughs> it's one on one. This is actually closer than I thought. I thought we were going to win because we had more planes, but apparently we lost them as I was reading the chat, so now it's one on one. Who's going to crash first? Maybe that's a question of that. I wonder if there's... I wonder if fuel matters in this game. Probably not. I didn't see anything related to it. Oh, you're putting yourself right in this firing path. He didn't shoot! Yes! <laughs> the enemy did not shoot at you even though you were right in his path. That was close to a crash. Oh, you're once again in his path. Quick going in his path! But then again, he's not shooting at you, so maybe it's safe. <laughs> it 
the least hostile enemy aircraft ever. The one who doesn't shoot at you. Yeah, the enemy's not shooting at this guy, even though this guy keeps going in front of the enemy. You hate dyslexia. I wouldn't know what it's like, but I think everyone agrees with you. I don't think I've any I don't think I've heard anyone say they like it. Where'd the enemy go? There he is. Who has more HP, this guy or the enemy? I have no way of knowing. He crashed! <laughs> I think that's his crash. Right there. If you can see my mouse, the thing I'm circling is his crash right there. We won. I got the times two I wanted. Did I shoot down a plane? I didn't shoot down a plane. I died pretty early on, didn't I? I was destroyed by an AR-65. So none of these have times two on them, so I got my times two that I wanted. Which aircraft did I fly next? One more game, then I'll end the stream, because um, my speech is getting kind of bad. So I'm going to end the stream after one more game. Which aircraft should I fly? Americans, Russian, German, Germans, or Japanese? You guys comment. Whichever country gets the most comments will be the one I fly. With only three people watching, it's not going to be very many comments. <laughs> it's like having two texts on top of each other. Oh, dyslexia. Russia. You're the only one who commented. Russia. <laughs> Is my stream extremely delayed? Let's do a wave. I think it's extremely delayed. No, it's not. A few seconds. Okay, Russia it is. It's also the aircraft I upgraded. So... To battle. Or rather, battle. This is not War Thunder where it says to battle. It just says battle. <laughs> what do you mean, nope? My stream is not delayed. You actually have no way of knowing how delayed my stream is. I could do the... I can set a delay to, like, two hours. <laughs> That'd be the most stupid stream ever. That'd be the stupidest stream ever. Set a delay to two hours. You stream for two hours and then it goes live and what people are watching happened two hours ago. That'd be... That'd be stupid. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised the stream is not delayed because normally Twitch on weekends has a ton of people streaming. And as a result, the servers get overloaded, and then streams start falling behind, especially as they go on. Um, so, basically, you end up with streams being like up to a minute behind. I've actually had that happen when I streamed before, and I wasn't telling anyone. I was just doing testing. I've actually had my stream go a minute behind, which was crazy. So the fact that it's only a few seconds behind is quite awesome. Now, Camel Humps, you said... I think you said that about the planes. Nope about the planes. What do you mean, nope? As in you don't care which one I fly? Reading the chat is hard while streaming. <laughs> I get confused about who's talking about what. Oh wow, most people are not loaded and yet the game is starting. It is a 30 second countdown though, so it's not like it can't afford to start before people are loaded. People shouldn't take 30 seconds to load this game, it's not. I haven't seen anyone take that long, not even close to that long. Except for this one guy on my team who still hasn't loaded. Maybe have five seconds left. Good hunting. Good hunting. Okay. I am flying without hands. It's handsless flying. see, I have enemies or friendlies going right and left. I'm gonna go right. Because there's more friendlies there, which means it's probably safer. But at the same time, I should probably go left, because there's only three teammates over there, and if most of the enemies go left, to our left, then 
our teammates are screwed over there, and then we're screwed as a result because they're, then we have to fight all the enemies. So let's follow this guy to the left. Okay, C. C, 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 C. 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 It's not targeting the guy. War Thunder you can target from any distance. This... Oh, no, it is targeting. Okay, I just don't have a lead indicator because I'm too far away. No flaps. Okay, can I have a lead indicator now? Or am I still too far away? Let's go up to the left guy. Come on. Yeah, hit him. Yeah, I got him in one strafe too. Don't, don't, don't go head on. Not in this game. War Thunder is actually more dangerous. That's the game not to go head on in. But I don't want to do it in this game because I don't feel like I could get out of the way in time. In War Thunder, you're just likely to be shot down, especially if the opponent has a cannon. You are so screwed if you go head on against cannons. Can I get this guy? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Turn! Turn! Don't shoot teammates! Oh, I almost shot my teammate. Can I get two kills? That would be pretty awesome. Come on! I can turn better than this guy can, I can tell. My plane is better for turning than his. But I'm still not able to get on him. Warning low altitude. Yeah. Turn plane. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Two kills this game. Can I get three? There's still two enemies remaining. Can I get three kills? That'd be a record. That'd be a great way to end the stream. Get three kills in a game. Two enemies remaining. One is spotted and being shot at probably because there's an enemy or friendly behind him, not an enemy. I don't know where the other enemy is though. Can I capture? In World of Tanks you could capture uh, your opponent's base and I wonder if you can do that in World of Warplanes. Last enemy aircraft. Last enemy aircraft he's spotted. I'm being shot at? Oh by ground units. Never mind we're not capturing. I'd like to keep my plane in this last game, preferably. Let's just get away from here. We're not going to try capturing. Let's go after this enemy plane. My gosh, is he shooting down a whole bunch of ours? He shot down two of our planes, and one of ours crashed. We're losing planes, unnecessarily. Okay, this guy and I are coming head on. Except I couldn't see him because he was on the other side of the hill. That would explain it. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I got two kills. That's still a decent way to end the stream. That is my record. I matched my record. So that is awesome. 8,000 credits times two. Maybe. I don't know how that works still. I wonder which type of AA gun it is. I wouldn't have a clue. I don't know about anything AA gun related in, from World War II. Except for the quad 50 cal that the half track got. I know that from COH, Company of Heroes. And then the Flak Beerling, which I know from a whole bunch of World War II games. So, yeah, I think that was a good way to end the stream. I am. Do I want to upgrade this aircraft? Let's do it. What did I just fly? I flew Russians. Which aircraft did I upgrade? It was the Russians. Now let's upgrade the Americans and then we'll end the stream. So modules. What do I want? Synchronized machine gun? What does that do for me? It gives me plus 16 in firepower. Less airspeed, less maneuverability. Is maneuverability the key of this aircraft? Because if it is, then I don't want to lose. I do not want to lose maneuverability if it is the key. 133. 109. 122. 147, okay. Japanese are more maneuverable than the Americans. 
So modules research that. Oh, it's a bigger machine gun. Yeah, 12.7 instead of 7.62. Now what does this do for me? This does nothing. I'm looking at the right side over here where my, where my mouse is. The numbers here will have parentheses around them if they change. Like here, there's a plus 15 to airspeed, which I will take. I can definitely afford it as well. So I will take the new engine. How about this one? Even more airspeed and maneuverability. Yes, I will take it. And we're back to 133. But then this doesn't do anything. Why would I buy this? This new airframe. It's not like I even need it. Oh, I'd ha oh okay. I can barely see the line. But I would want to buy it if I want to go to the P-23 next. If I don't want to go to the P-23, I and instead I want the F-2F, which is this plane, uh, I wouldn't need to buy the improved airframe. I see. I'm just going to call that good for now. I'm going to stop upgrading it. Um, so answering some questions before I end the stream. You're getting better. That is good and weird. One half hour and you are getting better. This, yeah, about an hour and a half. Um, and I'm getting better. That makes sense. It is an hour and a half. <laughs> I get good at games pretty quickly. Um, I do. I, that's just generally what I am. I get good at them pretty quickly or I never get good at them. One of the two. Uh, oh, Bofors. I forgot about that. That's also in Company of Heroes. That is an AA gun. 88. That was another AA gun, although not really used for AA, as far as I'm aware. Not as much as anti-tank, anyway. I mean, I know it had AA capability, but I don't know if it was actually used much for AA. Is this going to be on YouTube? Yes, it will. I am assuming I'm recording correctly. I can check that for you right now, in fact. So... How big is the file? Six gigs. Yeah, it's recording. Assuming the recording file is not messed up, then yes. I... <laughs> this will be on YouTube later. Um, if you look at my face, my webcam... Oh, that's such a weird illusion. At the bottom of it, it looks like those barrels under my webcam are part of my webcam. It looks like it's overlaid, but it's not. Can I make a Let's Play of the COH single player campaign? I've considered it, but I don't know, because it's single player, and there were some parts where it wouldn't really be suitable for YouTube. Uh, there's no way I would do the British or the Panzer Elite single players, because I hated those. The first one was decent. And I might do that one. I'm still undecided about it. I know I said something about it maybe a month ago, <laughs> which is kind of a while. But I'm still deciding whether or not I want to do a single-player playthrough of Company of Heroes. So I think I'm, I think I'm going to end the stream now. So I hope you all have enjoyed. Anyone who's watching now but wasn't watching earlier, this will be on YouTube, as I said. And those of you who are watching on YouTube, you should watch me on streams. It's uh, I'll put the link in the description if I remember to. So, yeah. Let's end the YouTube recording. <laughs>